John Martinka and today I want to talk to you about the most important thing a seller can say to a business buyer. Now look, you want to sell your business and you want to get the best price possible. You want to see the business succeed, you want to see employees taken care of, etc, etc, etc. And believe me, a buyer wants the exact same thing, although maybe they want to get the best price for them versus the most money for you, but it's all relative, isn't it? As the director of a private equity firm once told me, if we pay four times earnings and the business doesn't grow like we want it to, it's a bad deal. But if we pay seven times earnings and the business grows as we hope it will, it's a great deal. Every business broker and every memorandum they've written about a company they're selling tells you what a great business it is and how every one of them, no exceptions, is poised for hockey stick growth. Never a doubt. Sellers, here's where you lose too many good business buyers. People to pay you on the upper end of the fair range versus the lower end. You cannot definitively define your competitive advantage and growth strategy and how you will leverage that competitive advantage to dynamically scale the company. General optimism and the use of the word potential just don't cut it. I don't care if it's your first meeting or your 10th meeting with the buyer, you have to be able to specifically define how that competitive advantage is going to help them scale the company. If you don't, they're going to see you as a commodity or as a business that's built on you, the owner relationships with customers and employees and they're going to value it less or just walk away. So don't forget this. You'll get more money for your company and sell it to a better buyer when you can definitively define your competitive advantage and that will help you scale the business.